A flashing light above a new sign at Kent Narrows boat ramp may pull you in before you push away from the dock. Let's do a quick scan. At least that's the hope of Dave Ash, who lost his daughter Hannah in a boating accident two years ago during a low tide. That's for this actual location. And it's for this location in real time. Yeah. Ash is talking to boaters and getting out a message on the importance of knowing the drastic depth changes that can occur in the water. What populates on your cell phone is a tide and current chart. And the best part is it gives you the two cycles of the day in real time. A QR code allows boaters to connect to NOAA charts on their phone in real time. It pops up, it populates, and then we get the currents and tides. And as we scroll down, we can see exactly the current status of where the tide is right now. It's information he wishes 23 year old Hannah Ash and her boyfriend had before they went out on the Corsica River on their 17 foot sea ray. There was a full moon the night before, which caused a, a really a severe low tide. It was probably the lowest low tide of the month. And they were coming back at four o'clock in the afternoon from Conquest Beach. And in the process of coming back, uh, they ran aground, they hit a sandbar, and Hannah flew out over the front of the boat and, and was struck. And she later passed away later that night. Instead of sinking in pain, her family started inspired by Hannah to provide boat safety information and community resources that were important to Hannah. The 23-year-old was experienced on the water, obtaining her boater's license at age 14. Hannah grew up boating. Um, it was a calm, beautiful day. The people she was with on the boat were knowledgeable boaters, so this could happen to anyone. The foundation partnered with Towboat US in Kent Narrows and Naps Narrows. And especially this winter and this spring, we've had a lot of gale force conditions. That has created changing shoals in our area, different patterns underwater. We do a lot of ungroundings in places that we didn't do before, and that is because wind and current and waves and the bottom does move. Boaters tell us the signs are eye-catching. There could be a place where there was water in the morning and then in the afternoon it could be a sandbar, so um, it, it definitely does change. Do you check before you go out? No, I don't. Should you? Yeah. The signs are new. They just went up at the end of April and they're in five locations around Queen Anne's County. It's all part of a pilot program inspired by Hannah is hoping to get feedback before adding them to other boat ramps. Captain Sarah Lawrence says she treats every day like it's day one on the water. And she says the importance of wearing a life jacket is worth repeating. It's just like when you're in a car, if you're mid car accident, you're not going to be able to clip your seatbelt. This has got to be on the entire time and it is saving boaters' lives. The Ash family wants the information on these signs they worked on in partnership with Queen Anne's County Parks and Recreation to be as familiar as life jackets. We would really like to go up and down the Chesapeake Bay and that's our initial goal. I, I know for a fact that she wouldn't want this to happen to anyone else. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.